A woman has opened an adorable restaurant for a tiny chipmunk who regularly visits her porch, complete with a bar, stools, and even a piano. Angela English Hansberger, 50, from Tucker, Georgia, started the project after her job was put on hold due to the coronavirus pandemic and credits it with helping her deal with lockdown anxiety. The idea came to Angela in early April after her uncle Ed sent her a miniature wooden picnic table that was meant to be placed in a tree to attract squirrels. But the writer, who has been covering the food and beverage industry for 10 years, decided to put it on her front porch instead, along with a few walnuts. Within minutes, she got a visit from her cute furry friend, whom she has named, Thelonious Monk. When I first saw the chipmunk, he was sitting there like a tiny person, his hands resting on the table, Andrea told Jam Press. I went to the pantry and gave him some nuts left over from a holiday pie. He ate them as I watched and giggled. Then I started feeding him every day. Angela soon added a tablecloth, a tiny cocktail umbrella, and a vase made out of a discarded piece of plastic to the table. She was inspired to make him the sort of meals she missed having when she went out to dinner before the pandemic. He comes between 9 a.m. and 11.30 a.m., she said. I feed him once a day. Sometimes he comes out in the evening and I give him a snack. He is often sitting at the table in the morning before I have food ready for him. Sometimes he gets on the table, but most days he sits like a respectable diner. Angela admitted that her furry friend will steal bowls, glassware, and the occasional decoration, but she doesn't mind. It actually makes her giggle. As for the menu, Thelonious Monk is treated to a feast of ramen, tacos, burgers and fries, spaghetti and salad, as well as sushi, grains of rice, carrot, peach skins, seaweed, and grated ginger, and pizza, almond flour crust, smashed raspberries and slivered almonds. I make almost everything from nuts, berries, grains, and veggies and herbs that come from my garden, she explained. When all this started, I researched what chipmunks like to eat, what is harmful to them, and what their diet consists of. I don't feed him very much because chipmunks can be hoarders and I don't feed him by hand. I want him to still be wild and cautious. I sometimes hide nuts and things so he can forage on his own. Over time, Angela began to add more and more items to her little restaurant, which reminded her of the things she loved to do before the pandemic struck. The piano showed up on my porch from my friend Brett, she said. We used to go to jazz night at a sushi restaurant and he thought Thelonious needed a proper instrument. The mailbox I built it out of cardboard and sticks and painted it. It came about when the postal system was at risk. I sent some tiny letters to some favorite little people in my life, all, from, the chipmunk. Angela also decided to make the chipmunk a campsite because her, favorite place to hang out is by a campfire. Glued rocks from the garden and sticks make up the campfire, she said. I put everything on moss from the yard. He loved running in and out of the tent. Meanwhile, her husband built Thelonious Monk a bar that was stained with tea and painted with a chipmunk stencil. To make the bar stools, he used scraps of leather. Cocktails are a big part of my job and I miss eating and drinking at the bar, she explained. The moment I set it outside, he jumped on a stool. Angela said that watching the chipmunk enjoying his meals and miniature outdoor area brought her joy during an otherwise dark time. As I grew more anxious, because of much less work, being isolated, the tumultuous election, and a pandemic, I looked to the chipmunk for comfort, she said. I drank my morning tea or coffee while watching him eat. I focused nervous energy on crafting a meal that reminded me of things I missed. The focus involved with making things tiny takes away the creeping anxiety, at least for a while. He became a coping mechanism for me. Angela, who has over 15,000 followers on Instagram, added, In the beginning, People thought I was a bit loony but they have grown to love him. I have received messages from people all over the world. Such kind notes about how watching him has brought a bit of happiness to their lives. It's a wonderful feeling. My dad always said, do all things with love, and that is how I have approached this. To get love back is the icing on the cake. People recently commented on a festive picture that shows Thelonious Monk at his tiny picnic table, surrounded by Christmas items. Just wonderful. I love your account, one person wrote, while another said, an uplifting scene and real. Thank you, what wonderful friends and I can't stand how cute this is, someone else added. Click the link below to read the related article and watch the video coverage.
Oh my god, he's eating the taco. Welcome to the ramen shop. <laughs> 